Hey drummers, Gary Williams is back with another reaction and analysis video. Before we get started, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're interested in drum lessons, I've got some information in the text box below. You can get a hold of me. Also have cool online classes and a great Facebook group you might want to check out. So today we're going to be listening to the Dirty Loops drummer, Aaron Millergaard. I might be pronouncing his name improperly, but this guy is just awesome. So we're going to check him out. Sorry. Here we go. I better work shit out, but I like it too much. Spending all my money like I just can't get enough. I better work shit out, but it's killing my bus. Sending all my sorrows till I just can't kill a brush. I got the sun. You bring the rain I'm a dry but if I fall out Then I got no one for me to blame But still I got the sparkle nice. I'm soaking up the heat Cause I know I should resist But I'm so good for the kiss so sweet All right. hey. I better work shit out But I like it too much Spending all my money nice. like I just can't get enough Mozambique there. 
Yeah. Eyeballs. worked it out they worked the shit out god that drummer is just absolutely phenomenal i did check this out one other time because i had a student that wanted me to figure out that sort of sort of that seven stroke roll vibe that he was doing based over a, a triplets because you got this pulse so i had this kind of three against four polyrhythm based on fours and groups of triplets. I know that sounds complex, but if it's written out, it's explained to you, it's broken down, it's demonstrated slowly, you can understand what's going on. So superior playing, great modulation of time, very creative, great sound, great dynamic range, just that the whole like jazz thing behind the keyboard solo was just superbly played, just very blended, and then of course some humor at the beginning of the solo. They obviously had some fun with us. I don't know if it was just throwing some kind of a champagne glass and go, here goes nothing. I love the little thing, eye contact, because I'm watching. So I, this was some obviously sequence stuff going on in the background. Uh, a lot of times with this kind of music, there's a click track you're going to be recording to in the studio. You, obviously, the click's not on the final recording, but it's the unifying factor for everybody to keep everything together. Also organizing any kind of adjustments that might be need to make later. So with the sequencer, that's that little background keyboard thing that was going on behind the drum solo when he wasn't even playing at the beginning. So he's got that in his in-ear monitors along with, I'm sure, some sense of clicking. So he has a very stable sense of where the time is. Unlike us who are the observers who don't have that foundational stuff in our ears to help us track where the groove is. So that's one of the reasons why the drumming sounds so complicated because it is and it's capable of being that way because there's a very grounded sense of time that the drummer is modulating over. So some fantastic stuff he's doing. I love that one break where he's playing a double stroke row. He's going <laughs> just with the right hand and right foot based upon uh, those were uh, eighth note triplets. Dun, dun, dun. No, baby, do, 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 do. no. I think it was actually a no. It was a sextuplets or sixteenth note triplets based over the top. You know, doing that between the right hand and the right foot, um, kind of a double stroke roll, right, right foot, foot, going up and down the drums like that, and that kind of rhythm against the original pulse, and just very nice single strokes, very clean, very cool work with the uh, six strokes and between the cymbals, and just some amazing stuff. One of which that if somebody was interested in understanding what this drummer is doing. I would dissect it. I could slow it down, customize the speed, analyze it, figure it out. I could even go so far as to transcribe it and demonstrate it for you. So that's the level of depth that I would be able to help you with your drumming if any of you are interested in being able to play like some of these great players. Uh, I can usually figure out what they're doing. And that's one of the things I love doing, which is why I started doing these reaction videos to begin with. It's because it's what I've been doing for many, many years teaching. So again, if you're interested in lessons, check out the information in the text box below. And again, share this with your friends, and I'll see you on the next reaction and analysis video. Until then, have a great day. Thank you, and bye-bye.